Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you uh, that will include some tea leaf cards and some tarot cards. Please keep in mind this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Okay, please go check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Also, there is no date on this reading so anytime you find this reading there could be uh, something in here for you. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in and see what messages you need to hear. what do we have for Virgo thank you we start with older man dealings or relationship with an older man now this can be anybody it could be your grandfather it could be your father an uncle a friend maybe a neighbor okay there's someone here who's older that you will be dealing with um, if you're hearing this reading uh, right now you, this could have even already happened to you or um, you could be dealing with someone coming up, okay, in, in the immediate future. We also have another person here, dealings with or relationship with a man. This could be a, another person um, in addition to this older man. So there's a couple of men here that you are dealing with. It could be, you know, that you are talking with different people. Um, if you are single and you're mingling, um, you could be dealing, you know, with several people, um, but it doesn't have to be in relationship or in search of a relationship. It could be anything. Okay, so there are two men here. And we have whale. Great worry over nothing. So if you're concerned about something, Virgo, um, I don't see that there is any problem. Um, you're probably worrying over nothing. Okay, so don't let your anxiety overtake you. All right. So those are some messages. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Um, we might come across who these male figures are here in your life um, and see what clarification we can get on those cards. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, let's go ahead and cut the deck and jump right in. Spirit, what do we have for Virgo? Please let us know what we have today. Um, and also Virgo, I'm just throwing cards on the table today. There's no spread. I'm going to be reading whatever comes out on the table, okay? All right, so we, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Three of Wands. So right off the bat here, I am feeling that um, you could be embodying this Queen of Wands energy. Um, possibly maybe moving towards something um, in a way where you're passionate about something. It's, this could be in a job, it could be in a towards a relationship, it could be maybe with one of these men or even, you know, both, but hey, that's, that's whatever, okay? Um, put it how it resonates for you, but whatever you're doing, whatever your situation, the Queen of Wands is really saying that you're moving, you're taking initiative, you're moving forward, you're doing things that um, are passionate to you um, in whatever endeavor that you are seeking to uh, to attain, okay? The Three of Wands talks about being ready to um, maneuver towards that direction. Uh, you may not um, you may have not reached your destination yet um, because the Three of Wands is still, um, you know, waiting kind of for your ships to come in. So you might just be kind of uh, in a standstill uh, waiting for something to happen. Um, but you're ready. You're ready for change to occur. Okay. Let's see what else we have for you. The Hanged Man. Yeah, I think there is something here that you need to gain some perspective on before you um, take on this new, I feel like it's a, a new endeavor um, that's going to bring you in your stability. Because after the three is the four, which is talking about stability, um, you might be ready to commit to something. This could be opening up a new business. Um, it could be pursuing something uh, such as a hobby or a side hustle. Um, this could even be pursuing a person, but I think that um, a new perspective really has to be gained here because I think that's what the delay is, is um, you're, you're maybe contemplating right now. Okay, so let's get one more. The 
star card. Beautiful. This is a beautiful card. This is the card of Aquarius, and this is talking about self-expression um, with optimism, not just any self-expression, but um, your expressed desires for something. And I do feel that here with the Queen of Wands energy. I feel that you are um, wanting to move in a specific direction, um, and you're trusting yourself in moving in that direction. Uh, you're making sure that you are um, you know, really, really um, contemplating, really uh, making sure that you have all of your ducks in a row um, before you maneuver. But I feel that you're trusting your own intuition and I feel that you're trusting in the direction that you're moving in. I just feel that there are some possible delays. Uh, maybe just a little bit more perspective needs to come through in order for you to maneuver forward. Let's get some uh, clarification on the Queen of Wands. We have the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, I feel here, Virgo, that you could be on a spiritual path, a spiritual journey. Um, you could even be um, opening up a business or working in um, the arena of spirituality. Uh, for example, you could be a Reiki master. Uh, you could be a tarot reader. Um, you could be... Um, you know, doing the ayahuasca ceremonies, uh, whatever it is for you, it's a spiritual journey and it could even just be internal, an internal spiritual journey that you're on. Um, and I do feel here that whatever this is, is going to lead to your abundance. This is the 10 of pentacles. This is beautiful. This talks about long-term relationships, long-term investments, whether that's in a business with your money, uh, in the stock market, dividends, real estate, this is long-term investments. Um, and I do feel here that you are headed and you have a lot of passion um, in this, you know, heading in this direction. Um, and you're ready for uh, some kind of change here, okay? You're ready for some transformation. Um, I do feel here with the Ten of Pentacles as well that um, whatever this is for you, it's going to lead to your abundance. It's going to lead to your success and your um, long-term happiness. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful message to get, Virgo. Let's see uh, what this Three of Wands is talking about. Let's get some clarification. Spirit, what is this Three of Wands for Virgo? Please clarify. We have the Nine of Swords. Okay. We have the Magician and the seven of wands okay so I think that's what your delay is I think that there's something here that you've had to really stand your ground on um, I do feel here that with the magician you have all of the tools that you need to succeed in whatever endeavor you are pursuing okay whatever um, dreams that you have I feel that um, because the magician is showing up here um, this is Gemini energy you could have Gemini in your chart um, but this is telling me here that you have manifested um, whatever you're thinking of, whatever you are pursuing, and um, the abundance that's coming to you, you have manifested this, and it is definitely on its way to you. I do feel here that you've been a little bit um, stressed out, maybe up in your head, um, possibly a little bit of insomnia, thinking, right, up thinking about wh how you're going to pursue whatever this is or how you're going to maneuver towards this, um, towards your stability, towards this Ten of Pentacles. With the Seven of Wands, this is really just saying to me that um, you've had to, you, you may have had, um, you may have had uh, some obstacles in your way, people, okay, people who want to um, get in your way, people who are not always cooperative with you or people who may not be of your best interest or may sh maybe shouldn't even be around you. Um, again, you're going to know if that's, you know, for you or not, if that message is for you. But I do feel here you're having to kind of um, keep your defenses up, kind of uh, hold your ground and um, maintain your integrity in certain situations. Okay. And I feel that you have the power to manifest very, very strongly at this time. Um, try not to let your thoughts get the best of you because sometimes, I mean, um, this is next to, the, you know, the, the nine of, um, 
the nine of swords is next to the magician here so um as you know with gemini energy i know you're not gemini you are a virgo but if you have gemini in your chart um this you know could be um talking about that very very high intellectual uh thinking but also overthinking because gemini's do overthink um so if you don't have Gemini in your chart, that piece of this reading probably won't be for you, but I do want to mention that, okay? So let's see what the hangman is talking about here. New perspective, possible sacrifices too. We have the Queen of Cups. The Ten of Swords, wow. Okay, uh, the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands in reverse. So this Ace of Wands in reverse is supposed to complete the three here, the Three of Wands, and this is the extra one that you need for your stability, but it's in reverse. Okay, so um, let's talk about this. I feel here that this new perspective is really going to require you to embrace your heart open up your heart to not only the people in your life but to situations in your life that could help you grow and help you um, help you learn new things when it comes to emotions um, when it comes to your feelings okay um, if for whatever reason because we have the ten of swords here you're still a little wounded right from the backstabbing from people just you know not always being um, of the most highest integrity in your eyes towards you right because this uh, six of pentacles here is saying that there has been someone here who hasn't been reciprocal it could be a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio in your life someone here is not giving uh, equally okay to either a relationship and love work friendship or family whatever this is I feel that someone here is not reciprocating and I feel that this um, is causing this ace of wands in reverse to show up here because I feel that this is creating a little bit of a blockage for you to maneuver towards your four of wands so three plus one is four um, obviously with this here this is saying you're ready right with a three um, but this here is saying that there's still some delays and I think that you might be dealing with someone here that um, is is blocking you it's if you're you know in possible if again this, this could be in any type of relationship um, if it's an unequal give and take for example in love and you're giving and giving and giving to the relationship but the other person is just taking it's not gonna work it's gonna create an instability meaning there's not going to be the, the four of wands for you know the 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 stability that's needed for the relationship to prosper to grow okay so I'm feeling here that um, either you or someone else here is not giving equally Okay, to to a situation and I do feel that's why this ten of swords is here but the tens are completion so this is telling me that you kind of are done with the situation you could be moving on as I said moving on to pursue other things aside from you know whatever this uh, backstabbing or, or heartache or whatever the ten of uh, uh, swords is uh, signifying for you um, I feel that you may be done with this situation. You've had to sacrifice a lot, Virgo. You've had to sacrifice a lot for whatever this is. And I think that um, that's coming to an end, whether it's due to a relationship ending or just uh, you kind of being done with the situation and not putting any more effort into it. Um, nonetheless, I do feel this is kind of holding you back and kind of keeping you from moving towards your uh, stability. So I want to see what this star card is because this is a beautiful card. This is trusting in moving in the right direction and, and this is really saying that you're on course. So this could possibly still be something lingering that you need to look at, okay? 
and and maybe you need to evaluate that um, in your life so that you can make the right decisions to move forward and I feel that you're trusting in your in yourself right now um, maybe not really putting all of your energy into someone else especially if they're not going to reciprocate okay so let's see what the star card is and to be honest with you I'm thinking these this these men here this uh, younger man and this older man it could be both of these people we have the seven of swords Someone here just doesn't have your best interest at heart, Virgo. Someone here is shady, um, isn't on the up and up, isn't isn't really showing you any effort at all. Um, they kind of just want to take, right, with the, se the Six of Pentacles here in reverse. Someone is just taking and not reciprocating at all. So put this how it resonates for your situation, but... Um, I will call out the signs here in a minute. Okay, let's just get some more messages to complete the reading. Yeah, we have the Eight of Swords. One more. This one wants to come out. And the Hermit. Yeah. So I feel that either you're going to be communicating effectively or quickly with someone or vice versa. Someone could be coming in to communicate with you. Um, it's going to require you to really think about how how the situation's going to pan out for you, how you're going to move forward in a direction that's going to be um, suitable for you, that's going to bring you stability, that's going to lead you to your Ten of Pentacles, right? And I, I have to say this because it is very true. When you are on a spiritual path, sometimes it can be very lonely, okay? So, and that's just a side message that I need you to hear. Um, it could be very lonely, and so if there's a reason here why you're sticking around, um, why you may not be moving towards your four of, of wands, your stability, um, a commitment, something in, um, in your heart that tells you that it's right, it could be just, you know, that you're just done with the situation. Okay, that you're you're kind of uh, moving towards the things that are are good for you and of your highest good. Okay, so I feel here that um, whoever this person is or these people, um, I think that you may be clear cut with your communication, and you could be having conversations with these people directly, um, letting them know how you feel. Right, letting them know. Um, that this journey that you're on is not to be um, taken for granted because if people are taking and taking and taking and not giving equally to you that that's not right um, so I'm feeling here that you do have your defenses up um, but at the same time I feel that you know that you've manifested some beautiful things into your life um, and I feel that you are headed in a direction that you trust that you know is going to be right for you um, no matter what is happening on on the side with people with situations that aren't um, going to to be good for you so again you know I have to reiterate that sometimes when you are trying to better yourself or or um, lead yourself down an, a path that is going to be um, I, I don't want to say righteous I don't really like that word but um, in a way that you're moving with um, integrity I guess um, and you know it's not easy because we all have dark and light um, we all, nobody's perfect. We all have, we all struggle. Um, and so I think at the end of the day with this reading Virgo, you're going to have to really look and see how you're going to, you know, maneuver with these people. If someone is, um, or people are, um, taking you for granted or not appreciating your presence in their life. So I'm going to leave that here because it does say here, great worry over nothing. I think that this card is here telling you that you are on a journey of your own, no matter what other people are doing or saying. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Take the message how you will. Um, I feel that um, this is going to be 
something that you could work with um, in order to maybe get some clar clarity on things, okay? So I hope you uh, enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, namaste.